All right, what's up, guys? The first part of this video is a funny ass skit that I made for Phase like five days ago. Yeah, here it is. My name's Cameron Holler. I uh, live in this house with my friend. One of them, Johnny, he owns uh, Ransom, but now he's like turned into the, this massive ego, cocky type person and it's like disrupting the house. And if they're not wearing Ransom, he like has an issue with it and he just kind of goes off on the rails and starts forcing people to put Ransom on out of the blue. He's extremely abusive towards people, yeah. mainly Steven. Like, yeah, you have a big brand, ooh, no one cares. I mean, I know he's done collaborations with like big artists and millions of dollars in sales in the past few years, but like, ugh, like you don't need to be all cool about it. My name's Steven. Uh, I didn't, we're talking about Johnny, right? Okay. Oh my god, that guy's an asshole. Yeah, we, I moved out here like two months ago. I didn't even really know the guy before I came out here. He, he has a massive ego. I don't think I've ever met someone that has a bigger ego than him. He pretty much makes me his bitch. Like, I have to do all his laundry, clean his room, feed his cat, dumb little cat. And if I don't, he beats me up. But like, when he comes home, instead of just walking in like a normal person, he has to kick the door open and be like extra about it and stuff. Daddy's fucking home! Where's Steven? Steven, get the... Park my fucking car now. Get the fuck. Because he has a clothing brand. Oh, look at me. I'm important. Whatever, dude. And if I'm like not wearing his clothing brand, Ransom, he'll rip my shirt off and force me to put a shirt on. Steven, why did I wake up to know your urban latte? A what? What shirt do we have on today? A t shirt I found in my closet. What did I tell you about wearing anything other than a Ransom? Uh, do not wear anything else. When I fucking talk to you, you look at me, all right? All right. I'm gonna teach you a lesson, all right? Mm -hmm. Here, get up. Hop up! Okay. Let's get excited, come on, <laughs> get up! So you woke up this morning and thought, oh, I'm gonna wear this cute little salmon-colored shirt. The ladies are gonna love it. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, what the fuck? You this Yeah, and this little brand, call it a ransom or whatever. Nothing major yet. Like, I bought this fucking house with it. We've hit like a few million dollars in sales. Collab with like Juice World, rest in peace. Half Evil, Trippy Red, Kid Leroy. Anybody that works for me, if they were anything besides my brand, I get a, uh, I get a little irritated. But fucking yeah, piece of shit. This, you want you want to know what real men wear? Who work for me? Huh? Yes, 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 sir. Here, put this on. Oh, look at this. Oh, tell me how good it is. Tell me how. Tell me. Hey, look. Tell me how sick it is, huh? It's sick. Yeah. Fucking, say it's sick. It's sick. You, do you love it? Yeah. yeah, put it on. Put it on. Put your, put your arm through. Okay. Come on. I'm trying. Ah! That's the armhole. Yeah! It's a small dude. It's a medium. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. Help. All right. Get up. Come on. Hey. Come on. It's all right. What shirt do you think you're going to wear tomorrow, Steven? Ransom shirt? Huh? Steven? Steven. Steven, why is your pillow yellow, dude? No, I have an issue That's with this. Sweat. That's sweat. How many years have you had that? Eighth grade, seventh grade. So what, like seventh five grade. years? Eight years. Eight year <laughs> pillow. It's piss yellow. Looks like someone peed on it, dude. No wonder it smells. Here, let me smell. Spend money on a fucking pillow. Let me smell. Let me smell. Dude, pillows are ten dollars. Dude, they're like thirty. No, they're not. At Target, they're okay, cheap. So I will take you tomorrow and get you. Dude, that still smells you like, your mouth smells like, my sweat. like nerds, dude. Yeah, I, sh I shouldn't have gone mouth first. I'm gonna get <laughs> sick, bro. <laughs> Piss yellow pillow, dude. Dude, it's like moist. You have to. You yeah, I it? felt that. I don't want to feel it. <laughs> Look at Steven's pitiful corner. <laughs> pitiful. Just a shitty it's futon. One it's word to describe pillow. Steven: pitiful. Okay. Landon, look how yellow his fucking pillow is. Well, I can't say. From it's Maryland. Like it's from Maryland. Wait, yours is like that? Well, no, not mine right now, but like uh, the ones that I had in like Maryland. Dude, I just like, every time I see you, I just like instantly get the feeling of like, <laughs> sadness. Sorrow. Oh my god, am I that depressing? Dude. Yeah, you just <laughs> mope around. <laughs> you, you help me a lot, yeah, but you're just pitiful. Hopefully you blow up one day, right? Yeah. Staircase thing, where you can like look over, and I'll be so paranoid that I'm itching my nuts and someone like <laughs> You itch your nuts in front of me five it, it times looks, a day. It looks like I'm jerking off you, because I'll, like, be, I'll be there on my phone doing this. So he had his laptop like this, and he was like... <laughs> so you literally thought he was wanking it? Yeah. Okay, this is true. I walked in on Steven jerking off last night, and he goes, I'm nodding! Literally, as I'm nodding, it's gonna I didn't say anything, but just his first sentence, I'm nodding! Like, literally mid-orgasm, dude. Gross bitch. <laughs> and it smelled in there, like, reeked. 
like like sweat when I, as soon as I open the door. Yeah. As soon as I open the door, it just went like sweat. I swear, dude. Sweat. They're the horniest person I ever met, <laughs> dude. Whenever, actually, Johnny might be the horniest person I ever met. You bought a ten a girl's OnlyFans for like ten dollars, right? To investigate. And that like thirty percent of your bank account. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, dude, I was drunk and she just left. Okay, don't put this in here. He's like, she just left the house. Dude, do you know who I am? Do you think I'm not gonna put this in the vault? Dude. <laughs> dude, she just left the house and I was like, oh my gosh, she was so hot and I bought her OnlyFans. Hey, watch the blow, blow up off skits, bro. You gotta be rich as shit, right? <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna I'm Doubt gonna it. All right, boys, I'm gonna be reviewing the Kid Leroy album. That just came out. Actually, it's an EP. It's six or seven songs, I believe. I listened to it completely last night and I put some notes down. Kind of no one to someone in, in less than a year. And it's kind of crazy to look back and see how much better he's gotten when he's so young because he's amazing. Pikachu, the first song on the project. Nice little poppy beat. He's actually like storytelling on this song, which he usually just talks about like heartbreak and stuff. But this one, he's talking about childhood stuff and friends that um kind of make up stories about him, which I actually have dealt with in my life because there's people from my hometown that hate me for no reason and make up stuff about me even though i'm like not really i'm just a fucking youtuber there's kids that literally want to like fight me because i don't promote their music and actual psychotic delusional people so i completely understand what Leroy is talking about in this song it's actually kind of crazy that he said this he said old friends telling stories that were never true and he also says that in ninth grade he dropped out and he now he bought his mom a house which is like a fire ass lyric one of my main goals is to retire my mom that'd be fucking sick so done I already talked about Sodon in my other track review. Radio hit. Okay, track three, Tragic. Internet Money produced it. I'm not sure what Internet Money producer. More storytelling. He's like story, like talking about his childhood and, and childhood troubles and how his life has changed now. So the lyrics are really deep here on this project. The piano in this song, absolutely perfect. I guess one of the Internet Money producers did that. They snapped. A young boy feature with a Kid Leroy. I was like, that's going to be weird, but it actually mixed very well and it came out perfect. So for a young boy feature with Kid Leroy, that was the best feature possible. The usual young boy where he's like aggressive and stuff. It was just very melodic and matched Kid Leroy perfectly. So, okay. Always do. Leroy talks about getting drunk when he's only 17. Funny. I obviously people get drunk when they're 17. I got drunk when I was like 15. So the, the guitar in this is perfect. I'm guessing Omer did it just amazing on the guitar omer's a goddamn legend and the vocals in this one actually like show through because it's more of a relaxed song and there's like a slow build up so it just the range of little roy's vocals incredible this is where the project turned kind of dark and, and it's actually kind of worrisome because he's talking about how he lost himself and there's people changing around him for money and that is like a big thing i feel like with a lot of these rappers who are somewhat of emotional people like they actually have feelings and but the, he's like actually talking about how he lost himself. So that's a little worrisome is kind of uplifting. It's a weird combination of like kind of worrisome lyrics, but at the same time, an uplifting feel. Fuck you goodbye, MGK's verse. Surprisingly way better than I thought it was going to be. MGK is one of those people that switch suddenly to like alternative stuff. It seems authentic, but I don't know if it is authentic. Like he's actually likes that type of music. I'm guessing he does. But at the same time, is it authentic? Like, can you compare MGK to people like like Suicide Boys or Ghost Man who are real emo motherfuckers? It's weird when you transition, but at the same time, MGK's verse came out pretty good. The lyrics are pretty intense there as well. I think they're saying fuck you to all their exes and shit. So this track actually sounds like it could be in a fucking movie. It just has the movie vibes that you can listen to and you're like, oh, I can literally hear this in a movie. So that's what this track does. Feel something literally sounds like a movie track. All right, the last track on the EP, Without You, is like acoustic shit. And it literally sounds like I'm back in 2012 listening to Sleeping With Sirens. All the acoustic videos and like Woe Is Me, all those bands that did acoustic videos. It's so weird that that's like coming back eight years later, 10 years later. But it's it just, it's happening. There's a whole new wave of alternative music right now coming from rappers. It's so strange. Extremely catchy song. Leroy can sing, dude. I give this project like probably at eight, eight and a half. And it's an EP and he's going to eight and a half from me. So this is a great project. If you're watching this, the Lord come on my podcast. Subscribe to my podcast right now, The Cuff Boy Show. And follow my Twitter and Instagram. Subscribe to the channel trying to hit two million subs. Almost at two million. I fucking love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.